Hello everyone, Isam here with the fifth design tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write something around another object. So, I mean, I'll explain this as we go along with the tutorial. Something to note here again, let me just reset my workspace so you guys have the same essentials and reset. And now, the first thing I'm going to do as always is create a background. I've already created my artboard, so now here is my background. Again, I want to be targeting dark t-shirt colors, so let's go for a dark gray. This one's good. Okay, so the reason why I don't choose full black is because then sometimes I might not be able to see the outline of my artboard here. Unless you're extremely clean and you want to set everything, align everything up properly. Okay, so let's not waste time aligning this and let's get into the tutorial. When I said I'm going to show you something going around an object, let's take that forward and create a text. So let's just create a character, sorry. I want to use E because it's the first letter of my name and let's enlarge it. So I'm going to enlarge this as much as I can. See, I'm dragging this as big as I can, but it falls off the artboard because this character in this font can't go over 282pt points because that's just the rules for this text for this font I want to use a font called let's try how it looks nope let's go to league spot yep I like that one let's make it white how large can we make this one how, how much can we increase before this falls off okay the same but we can create this and make this bigger we we have to um, make this into an object so if I click on something so I'm clicking on something it's not an object right now because it's a text we clicked on text it's a character of a text because it's one letter so if I click on the text and then I go up to object then expand so I'm now expanding the properties and what properties am I expanding I have them selected here the object the whole thing and the fill so the color as well the reason the stroke is not um, checked is because there is no stroke applied the stroke is this outline we don't have an outline so it's not going to be checked okay now I can hold down shift and alt as always and drag there we go we have a letter which is large and that's exactly how how large I want this because maybe this is the logo of my company that I want to wear. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is align this to the center. This needs to be perfectly aligned, so we're not going to freehand this. We're, we're going to click on it, go to the align um, option here and go to align to artboard, not selection, artboard. Then we want to align horizontally and vertically. Then we want to go behind the rectangle tool so we're gonna hold alt and click remember everything that has a small arrow on the right bottom corner has something behind so we can select that by holding down alt and clicking so look this has something this doesn't because there is nothing there this has something so so is this so here is my ellipse tool I remember the name this time because I've been watching my tutorials you guys should too and I'm going to click in the center until this green appears here, this green little marker, and it says center, it locks in. Let's zoom in. See, look, I'm here, but it's taking me more to the side. There you go, that says center. So that means I can hold, shift, alt, and click, then drag out. That's okay for now. Let's change this color to a green, or a blue, sorry, I clicked the wrong one. Okay, now I'm going to expand this out. The reason why we made sure we clicked on the green center, this icon here. Let me just switch that around. The reason why we clicked on this is because now um, surrounding the shape, so every side has equal distance. So it's not too much on the right, too much on the left. It's perfectly in the center. And we can also make sure it's perfect by clicking on the ring and the E 
go into selection, align selection and aligning them in the center. You're probably wondering how I made this into an outline is because this is how it was and I just clicked on the toggle tool. This is swap, fill and stroke. I call it the toggling tool because you can easily toggle between the fill color and the stroke color. So let's go on to stroke and then we can make the stroke a bit thicker. So now we have a stroke. Okay. Now what I want to do is go to type and hold alt until this option appears. So let's go through all of them first. So this is the first one, the default option type tool. Then we have this. This is typing on a mask. This is going to mask out the whole area. So if I click on this, it's, it just masks out everything. Same here. This is typing on a path. This is what we need. So let's go past this. Typing down vertically. So it's going to go down. This is typing vertically on a path, on a mask. And then this is uh, typing vertically on a path going down so take take a look at this icon and take it's very similar to the one we need but this isn't the one the one we need is this one so it has t um, pointing to the right top right corner and the other one is pointing to the left so make sure it's the one pointing to the right and if you hover over it it will say type on a path tool which we want to do so we're going to click on the first anchor with this selected and now we can write on a path. If we do this properly, we will be able to. Okay, so there it is. And then I click, there you go. Now I've selected the path. So now I'm gonna write my first name in capital letters this time, Sam. And I'm going to make this larger, the font size larger. So. Let's make this 72, still not big enough. So what I like to do is click, click here, then select everything and then use my trackpad or my mouse wheel and just scroll up and down. It's faster because I can stop anytime I want. So I, I would say around this much. Okay. So now it's perfectly following the shape of the E. I can position this. And a good way to position this is by pressing Command and R. That's Control and R if you're on a Windows machine. I'm using a Mac. That brings up your rulers. Then you want to drag down a guide and hold it down around here. This is going to take some time because what you need to do now is align this so and keep putting down a guide until a guide touches both corners. That's how you know it's going to be perfectly in the center. nearly this is touching but this is not touching so there's about two pixel gap or even less there you go now this is touching I'm happy with that now I'm going to make it white so now I want to write my surname underneath quick option obviously I can just press click command and C command and F to paste in front then I can hold down shift or not even hold down shift I can just click on the corner and drag it down and it goes down and I have something underneath. There we go. Then I can type my surname A L T A F Altaf. But what's wrong here? It's not facing the right way. The reason, I mean, the way to fix this is we need to look on every corner and look for a line. You see, these are the lines that we're looking for. We're looking for one single line, and it's usually opposite the side the two lines are on. So let's go up here and there we go this is the line that we're looking for so we want to hold down the selection tool click the line until this little thing appears underneath so select an, it's a little arrow with a with a line underneath horizontal line then we want to click and then drag in until the line appears inside the ring so it was outside now it's inside now if i zoom out there you go you can see that it's facing the right way now if i hold shift and alt I can bring out my word until the ring is touching the outside of, of the first name. Then I can change the size of the font and bring it in so it's 
the same. So this is 318. I can also make this 318. But there's more space here than there's here. So a good way to uh, fix that is by drawing a circle. And then clicking down here. Then you can drag this out until this touches the edge. There we go. And then again, change the size of the font. The reason why we have to change the size of the font is because every time you drag the distance out, it increases the size of the text. So you need to make sure we fix that. And then simply just do the same thing again underneath and then drag down your guides. And you guys can play with this until both of the F and the A both touch. So, I mean, I can drag this a bit this way, and if I get lucky, this will be the correct distance. But no. But you guys get the message here. So, I've just written my name. You can write the whole line, the phrase. So, Isam, Isam, Isam. And then the same, I can carry on so three times here, and then I can write something else underneath. So just an example to show you what you can do with a path tool going around objects. So you're going to be writing around an object. Please let me know what you guys think. Uh, email me in the description below. I'll have my email. Or you can just even type in the description below. I mean in the comments and then I will get back to you. Uh, we've decided to give you guys these AI files so you can practice using these. So use the Dropbox link below and download them. This one might not help you as much because it's just very basic, but you get the idea because I can in the future change this into a shape or logo. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I can go forward with a character and change this. For example, I'll give you a quick sneak peek. E. Uh, what else begins with an E? So maybe I'm targeting the egg niche. So what I can do is cover this with white and now I'm going to use another ellipse tool and then I'm going to make this the same color as the background so it acts like a cutout so now it looks like there's an egg I've actually used negative space to put an egg inside what I am targeting. Now I can go even forward and play with the shape. Already I can see this can be a frying pan. So what I can do is even, let me do this really quickly because this is going to be the next tutorial. I can even take this out and then join it up here. This is very simple, very basic. And then I can make this white. So this looks like it's a frying pan. I can even add in some kind of sizzling effect things and then I can make them a different color okay so it looks like smoke or something but we're gonna work on this properly afterwards so yeah so I'm targeting the egg niche and then I mean anyone who likes eggs really and this can be a really quick thing. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Let me know what you think. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And take care. See ya. Bye.